we live. Kath Magic, RMR client, Hero Program client, Eating Psychology client, and uh, resident of the Republic of South Africa. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sean. So before we get into the details of what you've been through, I wanted to ask you the most important question, which is why would anyone think of investigating eating psychology? Why is eating psychology important, in your opinion? Um, so uh, if you are somebody who has had any issues with uh, eating and, and using food as a, as a comfort and a replacement for for relationships in your life and then the this eating psychology course is definitely definitely worthwhile it is it's underpins your your psychology the way that you think underpins everything around um eating and exercise and and health uh you know your your entire health so uh, yeah i i think for for me it is it's bigger than just eating. It is. It's literally impacted on my relationships with with people, um, okay. just because I understand myself better now. Awesome. And w what made you sign up? And I'll paint the picture. Like most people sign up to programs because they want instant results. And and so like you know, I want to lose twelve kilos in twelve weeks. I want instant change. <laughs> I want to fix this problem now and forever. But yeah. this is very different. So, what made you decide to actually go this route? Okay, so there was a there was a definitely a part of me that expected to be fixed within um, three months. I, I definitely I was hoping for it. I, I knew it was you know unlikely, but I was definitely hoping for it. Uh, I have had a, a very long journey with my health not being great. Um, type 2 diabetes, I have been using insulin, and of course now that I'm on both long and short acting insulin, I have really packed on the weight. And I've been looking for solutions, uh, exactly what you were talking about. And I came across RMR and I signed up for the 12-week for the program initially and learned so much through that program, just a whole different way of thinking because my approach has always been low calorie, low fat. Of course, it has to work. Everybody tells you that it works. And, um, and I, was, I was starving most of the time. I was so hungry and it felt like a real punishment. So I realized that I'm punishing myself through food and, and exercise, even by either by not having it or by having too, too much of it, um, obviously opposite sides for the food and the exercise. And when I saw, so there was also the, the short, um, I think three sessions that you did as a bit of an introduction. To yeah, the free, mini, the free mini course, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. So, um, so I did some of that and I was like, oh my goodness. I'm thinking that if we get to that level of detail, maybe, it will make a it will make a difference to me. So and then of course I mean the the fabulous bargain of signing up for eating psych and getting the hero program for free was uh, was the deal clincher for me. So that, that that's what uh, tipped you over the edge. Okay, it, um, it did. Awesome. So if you had to just silo um, the eat psych program because I, I will talk to talk about the hero program later, but. What are like some of the main insights that you've gathered uh, from the program? So, I, you know, it's 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 hard to to go there without getting quite quite personal because a lot of the stuff. So, my childhood has I, I had a very happy childhood. You know, you would think that if you end up in the in the position where I am, um, where you basically hate your 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 body that you had some childhood trauma. I had none of those. Mm. But through going through this program, and listen, it's not just attending two hours of workshops a week. There's a lot of work involved. And it's a lot of, um, especially in the beginning, gut-wrenching work. I mean, some of some of the things that, that, that I had to do and that I had to confront about myself was, um, was earth-shattering. You know, for for me, it it was it was really it was tough. 
But having the support of somebody like Victoria, who I can't sing her praises high enough, for either the content or the way that she facilitates um, the, the eating cycles, as well as the small groups that, that we're working in, um, you know, where for the first time you can really just be open and, and honest with somebody about where you really are at. So some of, some of the, the insights for me is what are the things that lay right, right, right down the bottom of my, my behavior? So the behavior are the things that you see, but what are those core beliefs that, that's sitting right below it? And then, of course, the, you know, if, if that is not what I want to be, how do I become who I want to be? And it, it's it's not my behavior. It's it, it doesn't start with with changing what you do. It's it starts with by changing who you are and what you think. Mm. So now you said something very important earlier about uh, going deep and not necessarily being comfortable sharing it in an open forum. And I think when people see this and they hear like group work and you know big Zoom and that you know it can be quite scary. So can you just explain how? that safety blanket was created um, and the difference between what we share in the open forum and perhaps what happens in your little breakout room. Just explain that from like the client side. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, I would not be comfortable sharing one eighth of what I have shared in the small group with a bigger group. The, the bigger group is where we come together. It's where we work through the, the theory. Uh, there's, there's a level of, of sharing. Um, that happens there, but it's very, very, very limited. The um, the small group that is that's created are yourself and two other people. So it's it's three people, um, and over over time, obviously, it doesn't happen in the first session. Um, but the the first session isn't really full on either, you know. So the first two sessions are, are quite, you know, you you talk about stuff, but you're not getting into in, into too much detail, and then in the third session, you share your life story. And that is that that is kind of a, a breakthrough where you start talking real, real deep stuff with, with the two other people in your group. And um, I don't know how those groups were set up, but let me tell you, I could not have chosen two more perfect people to form part of, of my group. It, it's mm. just... It's it's amazing the the fit that we we have and the relationship that we've built to the extent that I'm now comfortable talking to them about stuff that I have not spoken about to anybody else in my life. So yeah. you know it's it's yeah. It's 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 yeah. amazing you say that because um, I'm trying to remember who it was. It doesn't matter. But one of the bits of feedback we had was that. This is because there are a lot of live events that are like this where you go into breakout rooms and, and what have you. And one of the things that um, people have mentioned they loved about this process was that uh, in the Zoom room, because everyone's scattered around the world, you know, we've got people in yeah. uh, Alaska, Can you know, Canada, Australia, whatever. And, uh, yeah. and so they go into the Zoom room and sure, it's a stranger you've never met before, but you actually feel more, more comfortable speaking to them because the chances of you ever meeting in real life are... Oh, like so slim and then at the end everyone's like i wish we could meet in real life <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yes that's amazing um i wanted to ask something about the th just the difference between an online course and this program because you mentioned that you share and everything now what what's different is obviously there's a lot more sharing and, and engagement around around the work whereas an online course you kind of watch a video and you do some homework and you don't really get marked so your work isn't getting marked by a moderator but how like what do you see as the benefit between this model and the sort of un, uh, conventional online course model okay so um obviously a, a online course is about gaining knowledge uh for me it is it's it's a way to gain knowledge the the 12 week course was fantastic the keto course because i gained a truckload of, of knowledge but if your knowledge doesn't go over into a skill, into a tool set, into something fundamental that changes, then it stays knowledge and it, and it stays there on the on the top level. 
of, of, your, of your consciousness. And then you forget it over time as well. What makes this eating psych program different is the fact that it's, it's not just knowledge. It really is about um, gaining skills. I, I said in, in one of the open forums the other day that um, <clears throat> it is a tool set and it's not just a, a tool set that I apply in the workshop or around my eating. It is, it's a tool set that I can, that I've built up and that I can apply in so many other areas of my life. It's a, you know, it really changes the way you think, not just what you know. Mm. And, and that is, that, I mean, that is where real change comes from, isn't it? Absolutely. Yes. And, and that thinking change, how do you see that impacting areas of your life, you know, including eating, but going forward into the future? So already I'm, I'm seeing some changes. Um, my self-talk has been absolutely terrible <laughs> you know um it's 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 actually scary because if i were to talk to any other person um like that i'll probably get shot you know, at, the, at the very least so starting to change the way that i i talk to myself and again it's a it's a behavior thing it starts much deeper than that <clears throat> has meant that i'm in, in the first place, I made the, the comment in um, my hero group the other day that the week has been pretty much effortless. Um, eating, moving, it, it just it just happened. It, it wasn't this big, I have to do this, I have to do it. So that was that was a, a big thing that that is changing. It, it's becoming easier to to look after myself um, and my relationships with with people now obviously I mean we, we're halfway just over halfway through um, the eating psych course at the moment so we're not there yet but I have become aware of patterns of behavior with in my relationship that is is fundamentally rooted in some of those core beliefs and it's mm. maybe not the healthiest way to go so slowly but surely I'm, I'm starting to change that and starting to be, this is a horrible thing to say, but more open and more honest about who I am and not trying to hide it behind this perfect facade and everything's fine. Yeah, that, that's gold. So like the pressure of, so just to go back a, a second, because I want to add to that as well, but you said that the kind of the white knuckling it, I think is the term that I put to it like yeah. this, I'll be, you know, I'll be stronger this week. Like that's yeah. just, it, yeah. like, <laughs> if that drives me mad. So you're saying like the, the need to white knuckle sort of subsides as you feel less inclined to actually um, soothe your experience with food. It, it, if you take away what's agitating your emotions, actually there isn't a need to soothe. And if there isn't a need to soothe, there isn't a need to, to like white knuckle through the willpower. Cause you're not actually trying to like, um, fill a hole if if that if that sort of yeah. sums up what you're saying okay yeah um, no absolutely yeah and then I forgot what the other thing I was going to say anyway so <laughs> the, <laughs> so it's, so it is a, it's a twelve thousand rand program and um, and that's that's a like an investment I know that you can get a meal plan online for ninety rand and you can get a free meal plan off our website um, how do you see the value for you I mean I could put my slide deck together and dictate all the value to everyone. But, but for you, what, where was the value? How did you calculate that in your mind? And, um, and then maybe you can tell us where, like whether you're getting value or not at the end. Okay. So obviously the, the 12,000 brand was, um, a, a, a fairly serious consideration when I, when I was thinking about this mm. and, you know, I have thrown money at just about every diet program and, you know, personal trainer and what whatever you can think of out there. What I have found before I even signed up for the, the Eating Psych course was that RMR is different in the, in the workshops that I attended. It, it's 
the approach is is different to that white knuckling approach that you were just talking about. So I sat down and I said, okay, what? Yeah, I'm 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 50 years young. And yeah, I, I always had in my mind that when when I'm 50, I'll be, you know, my ideal weight, it was kind of where I was heading to. And here I am, and I'm still not not a lot has changed since the time that I was 40. So I come, I'm an industrial psychologist. So thinking about, you know, psychology and, and where behavior comes from, I thought, let's give this a, a go. Let's invest 12,000 rand into this experience and um, do the work. I, I, I can't stress that enough. Do the work, not just spend the money and show up, but actually do the work to make a lasting difference, not, not a, a diet that I follow for, for three weeks and then fall off the bus and binge for the next three weeks, but a, a fundamental difference. And that only happens when you change not your behaviour but what lies under it. Awesome. So, and, I mean, that that's brilliant. And do you feel as though you're getting value or, or how, you know, how's that investment panning out for you it's not bitcoin but i mean <laughs> <laughs> no no not quite not quite i'll be i'll be honest with you about halfway through the course i was started i was starting to think um i wish there was an advanced course <laughs> that i could do to to keep on um doing this this work my biggest fear is that i'm going to do this work and then i'm going to forget it mm. um and that is that's why you know the the time that you put in is is not just the workshops you have to you have to work on yourself and hopefully that will be permanent so yes my my investment not quite bitcoin um but i think in my health and my future i would probably even have paid more for for what what i'm getting out of it right now that's amazing. What just a coaching question for you? What do you think you'll put in place to maintain this level of insight and uh, openness to your own sort of way of being going forward? So some of the some of the um, tools that we've we've been using is are things like like journaling and um, uh, Victoria has come up with some great questions to ask yourself at the end of the day. Um, mindfulness uh mindful mindful eating which i've never done in my life you know i eat over the zinc because i live i live alone so um so and and those those are habits and behaviors that i want to continue with and i will definitely i mean i am already part of the, the habit shaping program although i'm not participating at the moment that is definitely one of the things that i want to make sure that i do is to stay accountable um for these habits that i'm that i'm forming in my mm. life until it is natural and i don't need to think about it anymore awesome so you're saying you know so this program is like like sort of the mind-blowing insights experience and everything and then for accountability i mean you will use the hero program that you're on as well for accountability but absolutely even going forward, um yeah. going forward you'll use habits and whatever to kind of like keep tapping the wheel and and staying aligned Amazing, amazing. Thank you. Uh, last question, which is really about everyone watching, um, and I know you touched on it in the beginning, but who do you think yeah. would benefit? You know, what kind of people will benefit from this program? Anybody who wants to make a lasting change in terms of their health. Um, if you are someone who has been struggling with eating and and health, your your physical health and to an extent, your, your mental health, obviously, this isn't a, you know, a one-on-one -on -one, um, counselling programme, but anybody who wants to see lasting change and do the work to get there, I think this is this is it. Amazing. Kath Madrick, that is a magical interview. Thank you so much. <laughs> you rock. Uh, so enjoy the workshop tonight because it is Monday. Yeah, so enjoy yeah. it and thank you so much. I wish you all the best for the rest of the transformation and um, I hope to see you in a in a workshop in no time at all. So thank you and have a wonderful Perfect. day. Thank you, Jono. You guys cool. too. It was great catching.